Alright everyone, today I'm finally giving you the grand tour of my ultimate gaming setup. And I've got something special to show you. This right here is an E7 Premium Standing Desk from FlexiSpot. And it's seriously elevated my entire gaming and working experience. So first off, before we get into anything else, this thing is a beast. It's made with high quality carbon steel. So when I'm playing Fortnite, this does not move an inch, even if I'm cranking super hard. And as it's a standing desk, this is where it gets really cool. It moves up so I can, you know, stand. But it doesn't just move up. The E7 moves silently. It's as if this thing was crouching 24-7. Now look, there it is, moved fully up. I can stand. This is my uh, elbow here and, you know, just game away. I am standing. All right, I'm going to put it back down in one click of a button. It's going down, as you can see. Very smooth, very quiet, under 50 decibels. You literally can't hear it. And now if I want to, I can tuck my chair back in and game sitting down. But the real game changer is that it's got memory presets for four different heights. So whether I'm ready to grind some Fortnite or just need a standing break, as you just seen, I can adjust it in a second to support myself. It also has an anti-collision feature. So let's say my chair was too far under the desk. It will sensor and stop to cause any damage. Finally, cable management. I know your cable management looks like spaghetti, but not here. Flexi Spot includes an under desk cable duct, which keeps everything neat and tucked away so you can see it's all nicely organized here and besides this like apple cable that i've plugged actually into the desk which is really cool i'm not going to be accidentally hitting my cables while gaming so if you're looking to upgrade your setup especially if you need the flexibility to go from gaming to work mode whether that's for school or you're out here getting that money flexi sports e7 premium standing desk should be your next upgrade it's stable high tech and totally customizable no matter how small or tall you are definitely a must-have that gets overlooked if you're looking to go pro and as for the rest of my setup let's just start with uh, the mouse pad we have an artisan i forgot which one it is but an artisan mouse pad the best one you can buy super good highly recommend every like pro valorant player is using this i think more fortnite pros need to get onto it i've got a razor viper v3 yeah viper v3 pro i'm really rusty with all of these peripherals but yeah hands down the best it is the best actually it has the highest pollen rate and if you have a good pc which can handle it this is the one i think it only makes sense to go to my keyboard i have the steel series apex mini i believe that is what this is it has the lowest actuation point i think there's another keyboard that's a great competitor now I completely forgot the name of it but yeah no this is still amazing great keyboard it's serving me well i don't use it wireless because it gives me a little bit more input delay and i try and minimize that as much as possible and then my microphone i got the short sm7b hooked up to the go xlr mini i think i've got an elgato uh arm mount it's like the newest one super good i like how it doesn't like clip to the side here and instead comes out i can also just put it here because i don't really use my second monitor i did have three monitors but i downgraded on purpose to only have two because the third one just i didn't never used it and as for my monitors this is a acer predator something something i'll try and put everything down below but it's 240 hertz one millisecond response time or even less so you need to know it's the best panel you can get best 240 hertz serves me well i play 240 hertz that's the key thing to take away here this one is 140 hertz i don't game on it i actually cap this to 60 hertz because it gives you slightly better input delay in game a better response time it's not interfering with my system resources this is actually a i do know the name of this benq xl 2411p my uh webcam which i never use because i hardly stream let me know if i should start streaming more but this is a logitech brio 4k i think it goes 4k 30 or 4k 60 i don't know it, it's 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 a great probably one of the best webcams you can get i think algao has one which is also good but this has served me well i have two algato key lights because they do a wonderful job clearly and as for the bad boy the big boy the pc i have it faced like a weird way so it's hard to show you and it isn't very pretty because i've actually turned off a lot of the rgb because i'm trying to get the best performance i know it doesn't make much of a difference but you know latency it, it can have an effect i9 14900k uh like that's like the best cpu you can get right now and a rtx 3070 master because fortnite is cpu intensive so i don't need the best graphics card but i think you should get a 30 series at the very least honestly i think if you are 
upgrading, you could probably get a 40 series in this day and age because even 30 series are becoming low key a little bit outdated. But for Fortnite again, it's fine. You could play a 20 series as long as it's an RTX. Honestly, you will get by. I of course have 32 gigabytes of RAM. I have a really good motherboard. I just can't pinpoint it. Again, I'll put the specs down below. But the motherboard allows my RAM to go up to something like 8,000 megahertz, which is insane. But yeah, that is two sticks of 16 gigabytes because that is the most optimal for performance. I think you have it in the second and the fourth slot, if I'm correct. And cooling, I don't know, it's good though. <laughs> so check the description, you'll find all the specs. As for everything else in or around my setup, oh, my chair, my gaming chair. I have this like Jinx 2023 Secret Lab chair. One of the newer models. It's really cool, really, really cool. Oh, and how could I forget my 100K plaque? Thank you guys so much. I have a few bucks here, very special bucks. YouTube 3D printed thing, a llama, Minecraft torch, some like GoPro stuff. This is a new GoPro. I don't use it. It's just collecting dust, as you can see. Uh, some Vaseline. I need to put that back in my bag. Yep, don't know why it's there. AirPods. Have a little hat stand thing here from Ikea. Some posters, Supreme Blimp. I honestly need to take this down. I have a YouTube book right here, the YouTube formula. I've never read that. I definitely should. Discord plus that I was sent. Another Discord plus that I was sent. I'm just going to zoom in. I can't really get across here. But yeah, a little YouTube letter that I got in my plaque. Discord candle and some more 3D printed like YouTube things. They're very cool. I got them off Etsy if anyone's interested. Then I have a diffuser to make my room smell nice. Extra cable thing here. Clothes basket. Aircon. My very dirty bed that I need to wash. This Studio Ghibli. I think it is my neighborhood. Bro, I'll be real. I'm going to upset all the Ghibli fans. I just think this is really cool. My neighborhood Yatoro, bro. I think that's what it's called. Really cool though. Tapestry on the wall that leads to the outside where I should probably go. Then I've got a stand. I need to get rid of all these stickers. Prema, Alhamdulillah. Quran, Alhamdulillah. Prebis, Alhamdulillah. This is just my little desk arrangement. I got some water, medication. I have uh, acid reflux, so I have to take medication. Some hand cream. My hands get really dry. Some lip balm. This is like, I'm putting you guys on. Best lip balm here. I'm not sponsored. Then I've got some miscellaneous jewelry down here that I do not really wear. Dog bed. My phone. Just chilling here. My dobe. I've got a little clothes rack. Dog bowl. Nano leaf. F for fetch wardrobe some leaves uh yeah it's a bit messy right now my bag for when i go to the skate park very messy hopefully you guys enjoyed and yeah i just wanted to keep this as raw simple as possible buy this amazing desk link down below oh also i almost forgot but regarding the desk there is a black friday sale which is happening at the time that this video drops you can get up to 280 pounds off and there are 80 seats for a free order. From the 14th to the 20th, there's 50% off with either of these codes. And on the 29th, the 30th, the 1st of December, and the 2nd of December, multiple people are getting free orders. So definitely check it out, because these are gonna be the lowest prices of the year to get one of the best desks money can buy.